uh, great teammates, great ball movement. We were excited to play. You know, we've, we've had a couple of good days of practice. We've been practicing hard, competing, and we had a good game plan. And it, it just worked out well for us tonight. I'm going to talk about the, the start of your second half there. I think you scored like 11 points in the first three minutes. Uh, were you just feeling it? Uh, yeah, I'll probably say the same thing as Eli. Like, great teammates just find me when I'm open or getting drives and kicks. That's what Coach really wants us to do. And like he said, we had a really hard practice the past couple of days. So, you know, getting those open shots is what he wanted in the first half. But it just fell a little bit towards our side. We became more aggressive in the second. So they was able to give me open shots. Eli, how, is it, how important was a game like this just to be able to play without Mar Marquise? You know, you, you're not sure when he's going to come back. Don't be sure when he's going to come back. That, you know, you guys know that you can achieve even when he's not in the line. Well, I think every game we play, with or without uh, Marquise is very important, especially with a team full of young guys. It's, it's all about growth for us this year. You know, we miss him out there. You know, he's a he's a bucket getter. He plays hard. He rebounds. And without him, it's tough. But we're adjusting. Like we have really great coaches. They put together so many great game plans for these games we've played so far. And I think the key for us is to continue to grow in practice. And I think with that, we'll be fine. Eli, how are you feeling physically? I feel fine. I feel fine. I'm, I'm almost at 100%. I feel like after the break, I'll be able to focus more on uh, getting in the gym, working out more. I'm pretty much done with school besides an internship. And I think before conference play, I'll be at 100%. How frustrating was it for you to sort of be on the sideline towards the beginning of the season? I know Brad's talked a little bit about his injuries of this team sort of have been frustrating so far. Well, I, I wouldn't say it was frustrating. I think my freshman year being out with a broken bone, that was frustrating. This was kind of a, a minor injury that just needed time to heal. Uh, but it, it taught me a lot, being able to watch these guys play while I'm sitting and, and being able to talk to them and practice and kind of help them guide J Javen, Trey, sometime Amir when he needs help with things. I think that was the beauty of it. So I wouldn't say it was frustrating, but it was more of a learning process for me. For both you guys, do you think that win over Raptor that it kind of Got your mojo back a little bit and kind of like got a little bit of those feelings that you had at the end of last season? Uh, I'll probably say so because um, going into that game, we already knew uh, Raffer had just beat a pretty uh, pretty good team like the past few games with, uh, I think, Texas and Notre Dame. So we knew like coming into the game, they was going to think, okay, we're getting the ACC team. Let's get them off too. And, you know, going that gave us a little bit of fire going in. So we was really focused and dialed in during practice, competing and getting hard. So. You know, having that game in the back of our minds, you know, that kind of gave us a push for us. So I would probably thank that game for happening because it gave us that boost back to get where we need to go. Eli? I agree with Amir. Yeah, it was kind of that uh, a point where we, we realized it was time for us to improve, and we pretty much improved. But we still have a lot of work to do. We want to cut down on three-point D. We want to learn how to trust our teammates and, and, and help on defense when they're shooting threes and force them to pass more. And I think once we get that down, kind of similar to last year's team, we'll pretty much take off and start having a season that we plan on having this year. You know, Charleston Southern's coach just said that you were the, the toughest defensive team that they've played, and they've played some pretty good clubs so far. Uh, what does that mean to you? It means a lot. Uh, but it only means a little because, like I said, we still have so much work to do. We know what we want to be. We know how good we can be defensively. You know, we have great coaches that, that teach defense. They're strictly defense. They challenge us every every day. They challenge us this summer to be better, and we will be better. So uh, we appreciate the compliment. So. Amir, how, much, how, how good is it to have this guy beside you almost back to 100%? And, and how, how does it open up things for you guys? Oh, it feels amazing because uh, since I've been here, Eli has been nonstop, like a vocal leader in my ear, in my corner as well, cheering myself on. I mean, cheering me on when he's not 100%. Uh, like when he was out, I had to play the five. And he just kept talking to me throughout the game. I could keep hearing Eli just coach me on the game. And then also, like with our team, he was always talking, always being vocal. So having someone like, like Eli in your corner is probably one of the greatest things you can have, you know, a teammate of his, because he's always going to talk and always coach you to do the right thing and look forward to the next play. So having him on the side was probably the best thing. Guys, now that this game is over, full attention, I guess, is on South Carolina. Does it mean as much to you guys as we see? the football rivalry of some of the other sports rivalries here at, between these schools? It's the next game. Yeah. It's a rivalry game, though. Like, we, you know, we, 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 we want to win. We want to, we want to <laughs> win for the, we want to win for the school. Um, but it's, it's just like another game. 
you know, we're going to go down there. We're going to be ready to play play a really tough team, and they're they're good at home. They're, it's loud in there, too. It's, I remember my sophomore year, the floor was shaking. So, uh, yeah, but just another game. We'll be ready to play, and we'll look forward to playing a good team of, of them. So. Yeah. It's my first time going there, so I'm really excited to get that feel and, you know, the – you know, get a taste of the atmosphere for the first time. I'm pretty sure the other freshmen as well, other guys that have been here. It's going to be pretty excited for us. But at the same time, like Eli said, just another game where we got to dial in, where we start practice on Thursday, and uh, just get ready to play them guys and give it all. So. Eli, you're at one point shy of your.